The West Coast Canal or National Waterway No. 3 is a 168 km stretch of this inland navigational route located in Kerala, India and runs from Trivandrum to Kasargod and was declared a national waterway in 1993. In addition to the main stretch, Champakara and Udayagmandal canals are navigable and connect the industrial centres of Kochi to Kochi Port Inland Waterways Authority of India under the Ministry of Shipping is coordinating the task for developing, monitoring and administering national waterways. It is the first national waterway in the country with 24 hour navigation facilities along the entire stretch. It has been extended to Kori Code as per National Waterways Bill, 2015. History Waterways have always been an important mode of transport in Kerala. The total length of navigable route in Kerala was 1,900 km and the navigable rivers constitute about 54% of the waterways. The 41 west flowing rivers together with the backwaters are an integrated part of the inland navigation system in Kerala. The state's inland waterways pass through highly populated regions, the West Coast Canal, for instance. The majority of those inhabiting the region were engaged in traditional industries such as core, cashew, brick making and fishing. Any attempt to develop the inland waterways will favorably impact the well-being of these people. On the main West Coast Canal between Kolam and Kadapuram, the Kochi Edipalakota 120 km stretch was open for cargo movement during November 1994 consequent to improvement works carried out by IY. Capital dredging for widening and deepening of canal between Kochi and Kolam was started in first phase during 1997-98. In Kochi, Kadapuram stretch, capital dredging was started in second phase during September 2002. Work in Kochi Alapuja sector was completed and in Kochi Kadapuram sector 30 km dredging was completed except 4.83 km. But in the remaining reaches, it got delayed due to various problems such as disposal of dredged material, fishing nets, local issues leading to contractual problems etc. Out of entire length of 205 km of the waterway, the total shoal length has been estimated as 87.16 km out of which 59.75 km has so far been dredged and 24.49 km remains to be dredged. The total quantity which was to be dredged for deepening the entire shoal length was worked out as 40.33 lakh m3 out of which 23.98 lakh m3 has been dredged and 16.35 lakh m3 remains to be dredged. Project for providing and maintaining 24 hours navigational aids by way of buoys and lights had been completed during 2007-08 and now the entire waterway has the facility for 24 hours navigation which was maintained during 2008-09. <laughs> Course Kerala's backwaters offer incomparable beauty and unique experience which have contributed to its inclusion in the list of 50 must-see placent in the world. Kerala backwaters include the Kutanad region, called the Rice Bowl of Kerala, where paddy cultivation done on fields which are below sea level, Lake Vemanad the largest stretch of backwaters in Kerala, Lake Ashtamudi and Lake Kayamkulam. The palm-fringed, tranquil backwaters which house hundreds of river crews between Kochi to Alepi, also known as Venice of the East is popular among tourists. MV Vrinda an exclusive river cruiser with eight tastefully appointed luxury cabins takes tourists from Kochi along the main waterway on Lake Vembanad. Kerala's largest backwater stretch to Alepi tourists are taken in smaller country boats on rice excursion, tour of traditional Kerala family residence, Water bodies in the city, such as the Kochi, Parandor and Thavara canals, were being used for navigation till some decades ago. One can reach here from Thripunathura to Kochi in around 20 minutes through the waterways, when the road route takes anywhere up to 90 minutes during peak hours. <laughs> Traffic A sizable quantity of chemicals and fertilizer imports of public sector fact raw materials were being transported through the Udyogamandal Canal by barges. There is a passenger ferry operated by Kerala State Water Transport Department from Vaitila Mobility Hub to Kakanad stretch of Udyogamandal Canal from 2013. There are active plans to extend this to Palakara near Vigaland to increase ridership and connectivity. 
There also passenger boat service operated along the waterway from boat jetties at Kolam, Alapuja, Fort Kochi, Ernakulam etc. Development As an alternative mode of transport, waterways help in dealing with air pollution and road accidents. To divert a share of goods and passenger traffic to the waterway, agencies in the field are toying with the idea of linking the Cochin International Airport and the Kochi Port, which are 17.2 km apart. This will be a first-of-its-kind endeavor in the country. A few water bodies on the route will have to be widened and dredged for the project to materialize. Another proposal is to connect navigable canals in Kochi with the waterway. Terminals Terminals at seven locations namely Kadapuram, Aluva, Maradu, Viacom, Tanirmukam, Chertala, Trikunapuja, and Kayamkulam have already been constructed. Under PDO, PDC mechanism, the PDO was entrusted the work of formulating a project for operation and maintenance of these terminals as a PPP project. The PDO had made a field visit and collected relevant data, and they were in the process of formulating the project. Construction of 8th terminal at Kolam by CPWD was also in progress. For providing facilities for mechanical handling at these terminals, 8 mobile cranes and 8 fork lifts were procured and provided at each terminal. <laughs> facilities at terminals on NW3 Asterisk land is yet to be handed over by state GOVT, will be constructed once the state GOVT hand over the land asterisk asterisk under construction asterisk 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 plan to consider after the utilization of the terminals already constructed. Topic. Cost With respect to freight rates, waterways are always cheaper than roadways and cheaper than most of the base classes in railways. Topic challenges and potential Many of Kerala's export-based industries that use Kochi port to route their shipments can grow considerably if they tap the potential of the state's inland water transport system. Kochi port is connected to Kerala's hinterland through inland waterways which run virtually parallel to the Arabian Sea and link major trading centres. Future potentiality of business improves with improvements in external and internal factors. International Container Transshipment Terminal at Valarpadam at Cochin Coast is one of such external factor which will create lot of future potential for IY in Kerala. The expectations from ICTT are to attract more international cargo movement through India and to reduce the freight cost of India's international trade. IY has already taken steps to utilize such opportunity. Two special terminals, which support the interchange of containers by low-low lift lift and RORO roll -on, roll -off barges, are constructed on NW3, near Kochi port. Traffic will, in all likelihood, come to a halt in Kochi when hundreds of container-laden lorries take to the city roads and highways when the Valarpadam container transshipment terminal becomes functional. Presuming that a container will be loaded and another one unloaded every minute, 2,880 lorries will pass through Kochi's highways daily. It is proposed to be given to transport the containers in vessels passing through the National Waterway 3, he said. A number of industrial plants on the banks of Udyogamandal Canal, where the public sector FACT and Travancore Cochin Chemicals TCC are located. The waterways are the cheapest, safest and most eco-friendly mode of transport. Many of the navigable canals in Kochi are now being used to dump waste from households, shops and markets. Many houses and businesses have encroached on these canals, narrowing them. Bridges such as the one at Kalor are low level, hampering the safe passage of boats. This calls for concerted efforts by agencies such as the Inland Waterways Authority of India, the KSINC and the Irrigation and Fisheries Departments. Future development The studies called for extension of NW3 from Kadapuram to Hosturg in Kasargodu and from Kolam to Kovalam. Linkages to Velour via Muvatupuja River for 25 km and from Muhama to the eastern bank of Vembanadu Lake to Kumarakam and Natakam also have been suggested. From Alapuza, it is suggested to Nedamudi, Palinkanu, Chambakulam, Edithwa and Parumala. 
The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development had approved a proposal for the development of the canal in the Mahe Vedakara stretch. The Eind engineers said that the Mahe Vedakara canal was being developed with facilities required for national waterway standards. The canal would have a bottom width of 32 meters, they added. The Valapatanam Mahe stretch is the missing link and a major obstacle to the inland navigation potential of the region. Eind engineers said here that the survey for an estimated 58 km stretch was to finalize the alignment of the canal. See also Inland Waterways Authority of India